in the studio and I was fiddling around on uh, the Wurlitzer, it's like an old retro electronic keyboard and I was playing this little melody and it was actually really simple but I really liked it and I played it to Dave and Dave said, <laughs> said it sounded like a nursery rhyme, I was like no, 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 I actually really like this, I think this is something. And uh, he said, okay, well, if we're going to use it, we, we should get some lyrics for it. So we wrote some lyrics, but we didn't have a chorus. And we kind of left the song, and um, we were flying back from Amsterdam, I think. And you... Yeah, and then I was just in the queue, and I was started humming this tune. And I luckily recorded it on my phone so that I didn't forget it. And put it away, didn't think anything of it. And we got back in the studio, and we were on the we song again. still this chorus, yeah. And I remembered that melody, and I was like, oh, wow, this is perfect. And it really just like dovetailed so perfectly together with the song. The adventure really began when Emily came in and she started singing it and she really showed us the versatility of her voice because the, the verse the, the is kind of mysterious and sort of dreamy and, and then the chorus is like, you know, like just, Motown, hallelujah, she just so, ripped it. You know, it really was an adventure actually in the end because I'd written a little part, David come up with a part while he was standing in a queue in the airport and I mean it could have just as easily not have happened and that kind of became like the perfect title for the song. Choose your own adventure Choose your own adventure Choose your own adventure Choose your own adventure, Choose your own adventure. <laughs> The live remix <laughs> The Montuno version He's crazy No, he's crazy yeah, we're crazy. <laughs> Actually, this song is, it doesn't really have a lot to tell behind it. It's kind of just a fun song. We, we kind of came up with, came up with a chorus, and he's crazy, he's out of his mind. And then we found this old uh, film, film sample which goes on underneath it. And Emily Bruce is singing on it again. And uh, Dominic Peters is singing on it as well. Come oh, on, he's vocoding the microcorg in there. He's crazy. Yeah, I was channeling he's my, my inner Daft Punk. Yeah, this is where that worked out pretty well. And uh, it's just a fun summary song. It's nothing. It's just a happy. It's nothing. There's no deep meaning behind it. We kind of had a competition of who could make them the catchiest three note melodies. I cheated, I used four notes, but uh, it's kind of where the song sort of got going and then we kind sort of, of wanted sing to, along yeah, the like vibe and the chorus. A lot of things that kind of happen live, I mean, you might have even played that live just jamming. A lot of the time we'll be playing at a gig and we'll be jamming at the end of one of our existing tracks and Dave will play something or I'll play something and then that'll become like the inspiration for a whole new song because you're in those, when you're in those now moments with a crowd right there, you come up with stuff that you would never have come up with when you're sitting in a studio trying to be clever, you know, <laughs> trying to be interesting. Yeah. And it's like, let's be interesting now. Whereas at live, it just something will, might just pop through, and we really wanted to kind of capture that live energy in that song. <laughs> <laughs> 